Hi guys, Joy here. I have got a little 4x4 slab of black rolled out onto a number 3 from my pasta machine. I'm just going to show you a quick application of a silk screen. Here I've got my desert seams. If you did not know, you can cut them up to make it easier. Uh, when you get my screens, there's a plastic coating on the back. So you just have to mess with the edge there until you get it lifted up. It's like peeling off a sticker. So it's sticky, but it's not like super sticky. But it'll give a little extra to your clay. So go ahead and just lay it down. You want to gently but firmly place it. You don't want it too much, especially if your clay is warm, it will stick really well. But you just want to make sure there's no air bubbles. So it doesn't look like there's any there. I'm using just a treasure gold that I picked up at the craft store. It is by Folk Art. It's really pretty. I like the gold. Doing the gold on the black stands out really well. So it just makes it quick and easy combination. I've just got uh, one of Pandora's Goldilocks brushes. You can paint it. You can squeegee it. I usually give it a paint and then give it a squeegee. But you can do it either way you want to. If you're doing multiple colors, paint quickly because you don't want the paint to dry inside the silk screen. It's always a good idea to have some water to put your silk screen into and your paint brushes when you're done so they don't get all icky. I've got a little squeegee here so I'm just going to squeegee it just with some pressure to make sure I'm pushing the paint all the way through the screen so it's going all the way into the clay. Just make sure and you can lift it up and look and make sure that everything is filled in. If there's any problems you can lay it back down if you're really careful but usually it goes right on there. So get one of my little tools. These little tools are awesome. I got these at Blueberry Beads. There's a whole set of them with all different kinds of little things. But it makes it really nice just for to be able to lift stuff up or poke little tiny holes or whatever. But you can peel it back and see. Like right up here, I could do a little bit more up there. Just give it an extra little brush to make sure that it got all the way in. Pressure is really the the point. You really want to make sure you're pushing. I'm, you can see that I'm pushing it in through the screen because there is a gap there. And if you don't give it enough pressure, it's just going to lay on top. But so we'll peel it back up again. Right over here I could use a little. And it's hard to tell unless you take a little peek. You don't want to just pull it off all at once. But it doesn't take very long. A little more on the corner there. Got to be real careful with those edges. Alrighty, just go ahead and pop that off. You'll want to put your screen into some water and put your brush into some water if you're all done for right now depending on how you do it now once this dries the cool thing about the desert scene screens is all you need to do is cut out your design you don't need a cutter there's no curves there is a circle that comes with these as well so this one's the diamond and then there's diamond earrings this one's a messed up screen that's why I'm using it it washed out but you do have circles you can just use a circle cutter with that but I like this one because all you have to do usually you would want to wait until it's dry but you can just go in with your knife and just cut right there you know and just cut it out perfect and then all you have to do is sand it if you wish after it's baked throw on some resin and there you go hopefully you guys enjoyed that so once again, this is the Desert screen, Scenes screen. Thanks, guys.